A federal fund called VOCA provides funding to survivors of violence to meet their critical needs. Emergency housing can mean the difference between life or death for domestic violence survivors. Reimbursement for hospital bills allows survivors of stabbings and shootings to get life-saving medical treatment without going into debt. And therapy helps all survivors live whole, healthy lives. The problem is, survivors in New York can only get this compensation if they report what happened to them to law enforcement, even if they think doing so will make them unsafe. Black survivors and other survivors of color might not feel safe working with law enforcement because of the harm they and their community have experienced at the hands of police. LGBTQ survivors are likelier than others to experience discrimination, mistreatment, and even violence at the hands of police, including when they call for help. Immigrant survivors fear that calling the police may get the person who harmed them deported or that they themselves might be deported or lose their pathway to citizenship. Survivors of intimate partner violence know that involving law enforcement might escalate their partner's violence against them. And many survivors of violence know that even if the person who shot them is arrested, that person's friends or associates might retaliate if they report what happened to law enforcement. Survivors all want to be safe. We shouldn't withhold life-saving supports from survivors who know that reporting to police or prosecutors will put their lives in danger. New York doesn't have to require survivors to report what happened to them to law enforcement in order to access compensation. Instead, we could choose to respect survivors. We could trust survivors as the experts in their own safety and we could commit to helping all New Yorkers heal and be whole. Common Justice's United for Healing Equity project works to make sure that systems and structures support every community's inherent right to heal. To learn more about our work and join in our efforts, visit commonjustice.org.